Good afternoon, this is Diane, DNF Properties, uh, DRE number 00744960. Been in the business for over 40 years, and I'm here to give you a little bit of an update from our breakfast meeting or marketing meeting this morning. We had uh, the chief economist from NAR, from National Association of Realtors, Lawrence Yun, uh, give us a presentation. And he gave us a presentation on the national level. And we also had Dave Walsh. He is a realtor broker for um, in the Bay Area for a very, very long time as well. And he's now with Compass Realtor Realty. He used to be treasurer of the California Association of Realtors and was their president board for a year. And he's been on the board of directors for our, our own association here in Santa Clara County for many years. Uh, so the, these people are both very well um, educated and knowledgeable about the economy and about what's happening in real estate in general. So today, uh, uh, Laura spoke about the national economy because he is with the National Association of Realtors. And he mentioned that regional banks uh, don't have enough capital, that big banks are okay. So we may see some smaller banks collapse like uh, Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, one of the reasons is they just don't have enough capital. Uh, there is talk about uh, the federal, um, the FDIC increasing the $250,000 uh, to a higher amount. But when that happens, uh, if they do that, that means all banks have to participate and, and pay into the insurance so that there's money in the funds in case if there ever is another bank run like they had at Silicon, Silicon Valley Bank. So we're not sure where that's going. That's talk right now. He mentioned that commercial real estate is in trouble. Um, I guess there's a lot of, they built too much of that, and we're going to probably see some vacancies there. And uh, the builders are back to pre-COVID levels as far as their uh, building capacity. Uh, existing homes and inventory on existing homes are still not there. So we still have a long way to go to bring that inventory up. Sunbelt states, you know, Florida, California, Washington, um, and uh, some other states along the, the coasts, We've seen a higher decline in real estate this past year than in the Midwest or central states. A lot of the central states, you can still buy a great house for $200,000, $250,000. And they are having lots of multiple offers in those areas. We are seeing them here in, in Santa Clara County as well. And I'll go over that once I get to that uh, section. Um, foreclosures are down, way, way down. So if you're looking or thinking that we're going to go into a foreclosure crisis like we did in 2008, 2007, and 10 you're not going to see that. It's just not happening. A lot of people have very low rates. Um, if they do get behind, they sell their home. They have so much equity. There's no reason to go into foreclosure. So if you're looking for foreclosures, if you think they're going to come back, there is no sign or indication of that happening at this time. Um, well, you know, one reason that uh, the other states are doing so well, too, in pricing is because they're affordable. and We're not affordable here. Um, Inventory is very tight. We know that. It's tight all over the nation. It's not just here in Santa Clara County. So overall, uh, inventory is very tight, and there are multiple offers in many, many places, especially in those lower affordable states. Um, he predicts, uh, Lawrence predicts, that we're probably going to see rates go down to 5.5 by the end of the year. His reasoning is that um, rents are very high, and, when, and they're starting to calm down. When rents start lowering, um, and then people start switching into homes and uh, the, the Federal Reserve sees that there's trouble, they will lower the rates and we'll have uh, that going in. Another thing that's happening too that he says is an indication that there's going to be a change is that the spread between the 10-year note, which is what we use to predict interest rates, or it kind of moves with the interest rates, and the 30-year mortgage rate is too wide. Uh, it's very rare that it's this wide. So it, when it goes uh, this wide, something has to happen. It has to start shrinking again. Right now, the average 10-year note is trading at about 3.6%. And the average interest rate is at about 65 So you've got like almost a 3% spread or a 3% spread there. The spread's usually 1.5%, 1.7%. So it has to come down. And when that comes down, we're going to see interest rates on mortgages come down. So he's predicting 5.5 at the end of this year or beginning of next year. Jobs overall are um, not that bad. Uh, he says that there's, um, there's even though we're hearing about a, lay, a lot of layoffs and stuff, overall national, they're, we're really not going into a situation where we're losing a lot of jobs and a lot of people are getting laid off. Now, now to Dave Walsh. Um, he presented um, some slides and showed more of the Santa Clara County um, uh, market. 
it's still very hot, very, very hot in Santa Clara County. Um, if rates go down further, it's going to get even hotter. Uh, right now we have about a thousand units in all of Santa Clara County. That's all cities in Santa Clara County. That really is not a lot. It's gone up from last year quite a bit, but it's still very, very weak uh, for the, the amount of people that we have in this valley. Um, it's more than last year, like I said, but it's still just not enough for the demand that we have from buyers. Uh, uh, under contract, about 40, if you look at any house that's out there um, in Santa Clara County, about 45% of, of the time that house is going to be pending. And for condos and um, townhouses, it's about 47%. We haven't been in those high uh, percentages in a while. Back in the end of 2022, it was like 28%. That was a great time for buyers to come in. And I even told some of my buyers to come in, but buyers... When everybody else is afraid, they're afraid too. You know, just like people follow the, the crowd. And that was a really, really good time. You could negotiate. You could buy a good price for a house. But we're not there anymore, unfortunately, for buyers. Um, more than 80% of all offers that come in are non-contingent. So if you're a buyer and you're competing with a, a, a multiple offers, you pretty much have to come in with no contingencies. Of course, there's a risks. Um, uh, there's risks to that, and that's something that you have to talk to your realtor, and I can help you with that, so you know what those risks are. But if you're well prepared when you go into um, that offer, the, the the chances of things going wrong are lower. Uh, and if you understand the risks, then it makes it usually for a smoother transaction. So that's just something to be aware of if you're out looking for homes. Santa Clara County unemployment rate is around three percent. That's really super low, and in our area, they, they are saying that we have jobs, 1.7 jobs for every person. So that means that we still have a lot of job creation. And um, even though those people are being laid off from high tech, there's a lot of mass layoffs, they're finding jobs elsewhere. So it's not like um, it was back when a lot of people were getting laid off and we had a high foreclosure rate in 2008 through 2012. So that's not happening right now. Um, other agents have reported that on their open houses, they're seeing 40 to 45 groups per day, so like Saturdays and Sundays. Lots of groups, lots of people looking out there. Of course, there's a lot of people that are looky-loos, but there's a lot of serious buyers, and a lot of them are getting multiple offers, uh, three to 15 offers per house, depending on where the house is located. Not every single house in Santa Clara County gets multiple offers. There has been some on the market for quite a while. For whatever reason, they're there. Sometimes they just slip the whole thing. You know, they started too early and and just stay and stay and stay and have price reductions and people are afraid to look at those homes. It doesn't mean anything's wrong with them, but I would uh, look there if I was interested in purchasing something. Um, there's nothing like wealth creation, even now with higher rates and higher prices. I've been in real estate a very long time and I've known people that bought real estate for a long, long time. And I know people that have been holding real estate for a long time. And the people that I know that are the wealthiest are the ones that hold real estate. So if you want to start wealth creation, I'm happy to help you. Uh, if you're a first-time buyer, give me a call and I will tell you the pros and cons of um, home ownership and let you make that decision. Um, and you have to be a serious buyer in this market because um, there's a lot of competition right now. There might be another time during the year that it may slow down a little bit and I'll reach out to p people that I know that are interested in buying. But... Um, that's something you have to be aware of. Now, if you're a seller, I'd be more than happy to also discuss your home value and the home situation for you. Um, sellers right now have the seat again and you pretty much can get not anything you want, but of course the market dictates the price, but you probably can get a good price if, uh, for your home if it's well presented, clean, you have all your inspection reports, sometimes staging uh, helps depending on the house and you're priced correctly. With all those things in mind, you're probably going to get lots of activity and you're going to get a good offer where you will be happy. If you have any questions, if you want to discuss either buying or selling, uh, refinancing, or even renting, because I do help with leases, uh, you can call me at 408-221-6602. I'm Diane, DNF Properties, 40 years plus in the business, and I'm more than happy to just talk to you if you like. Talk to you later. Thanks for listening.